Egypt's breaking news source. This is News 24 at 5. And good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Price filling in for Terry this evening. We have a lot of news to get to, but we begin in Williamson County, where a year-long construction project on Interstate 57 kicks off this evening. Crews are expanding Interstate 57 to three lanes in each direction between the Johnston City exit in Williamson County and the West Frankfort exit in Franklin County. Doug Helfrich with the Illinois Department of Transportation says work will begin in the southbound lanes with patching and shoulder work. Lane reductions will be in place from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Drivers should watch out for shoulder drop-offs in the construction area. Authorities are investigating a domestic incident at the home of Carbondale Mayor Mike Henry. Around 11.45 p.m. Saturday, two Carbondale officers were on foot patrol along West Hill Avenue when they heard a disturbance and determined it was at the mayor's home. Police say the disturbance was between Mayor Henry and his wife. Carbondale Police called officers to the SIU Department of Public Safety to the scene to complete an independent investigation. There were no arrests and no injuries which required medical treatment. The investigation has been turned over to the Jackson County State's Attorney's Office. A Mount Vernon teen is in custody for stabbing another teen. Around 8.30 a.m. Monday, officers responded to Sparrow Family Services for a reported battery. When they arrived, officers determined a 17-year-old attacked and stabbed a 15-year-old. A third resident attempted to intervene and was hit several times but did not get stabbed. Police are not naming the 17-year-old suspect who is facing two counts of aggravated battery and is being held at the Franklin County Juvenile Detention Center. Drivers should be aware of lane restrictions on the Brookport Bridge this week. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet will close one lane of traffic to allow for bridge inspection. The lane will be closed from today, April 1st, through Friday, April 5th. Flaggers will be placed on each side of the bridge to alternate the flow of traffic. Nearly 5,000 vehicles use the bridge to cross the Ohio River between Brookport and Paducah every day. Route 3 is closed at the Jackson County Randolph County line due to flooding. The Illinois Department of Transportation closed Route 3 today because of high water on the Mississippi River. The department is warning drivers who travel Route 3 between Illinois 151 and Chester. Warning and detour signs are in place. The road will remain closed until floodwaters recede. April 1st is designated as Illinois State Trooper Day. Illinois State Police first began patrolling 97 years ago on April 1st, 1922. The agency has grown from eight officers on motorcycles to 2,600 employees who are not only patrol but aid in criminal investigations, forensic analysis, and tactical operations. Acting Director Brendan Kelly says April 1st is a day to, to pay tribute to those who serve and to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. In a statement, he said, while our department is in mourning over the recent ultimate tragedies that have occurred in 2019, we are also united in our devotion to always remember our fallen brothers and sisters and, paid the, and, and the ultimate price they paid to protect others. In 97 years, 69 men and women of the Illinois State Police bravely put on their uniform to serve the citizens of this state and never return home. I'm asking the public to consider these men and women today and all those who bravely wear their badge or shield so they may protect others. Through our struggle, we find strength. Through our sadness, we find hope. Through our darkness, we find a bright light from those courageous souls shining down. Three Illinois State Troopers have died this year after being struck by vehicles. Trooper Christopher Lambert died in January near Northbrook. Brooke Jones' story was fatally injured Thursday in Freeport. And Trooper Gerald Ellis died Saturday when his squad car was struck head-on by a wrong-way driver on Interstate 94. Much more news is next, but first, here's a check of weather where warmer conditions are finally on the way. Here's Terry with the latest.
All right, thanks, Terry. You can join State Senator Dale Fowler, Representative Patrick Windhorst, and Representative Dave Severin at their town hall this evening. It starts at 6 o'clock p.m. and runs until 7 o'clock p.m. at the Hamilton County High School at 1 Fox Lane in McLeansboro, Illinois. They will discuss firearm legislation, the governor's proposed tax increase and overall budget, and economic development. The event is free and open to the public. The number of U.S. measles cases through the first three months of this year have surpassed the count for all of 2018, according to health officials. There have been 387 cases through March, according to the Senators, or excuse me, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. There were 372 last year. The numbers are preliminary and may change, but the 2019 tally is already the most since 2014, when 667 were reported. Much more local news, sports, and weather is next on News 24 at 5. But first, here's a look at your national headlines. Fox News update. Calling it disqualifying. I'm Jane Metzler, Fox News. A Nevada politician says former Vice President Joe Biden's alleged being.